Hi everyone, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to make this geodesic double layered dome in Blender using Geometry Node system. It's rather simple a Geometry Node setup, so it will not create a lot of trouble for beginners. So let's jump into new blend file and start making this dome. Ok, in new blend file let's delete everything except for our default cube, so let's delete lamp and camera, and jump into Geometry Node's workspace. We can hide the left and right menu by pressing T to hide the toolbar and pressing this button to hide the right side. Now we have a little bit more space, which will be useful because we will use this like our main viewport. So let's select our cube and rename it to Dome. And let's create a new node tree and rename it also to Dome. Ok, so we will start by creating the base geometry for our structure, which will be the icosphere. If you plug it here, our default cube is replaced by our icosphere geometry, and we will need a little bit more subdivision to create more round shape. So let's increase the number of subdivision to 3. Ok. Now let's delete the bottom part of our dome, so we have uh, actually a half of a sphere, not the whole. So we can do this pretty easily by using a delete geometry nodes. We can find under geometry, operations, delete geometry. And as you can see now the whole icosphere is gone, and we only uh, want to delete the bottom half, so we need to plug something in our selection. Ok, so what we can do, we can change the position in the z-axis of every single vertices and delete those vertices that are too low. So let's uh, search for a position node. And so we only need the position in the z-axis, so let's use separate xyz. And now I would just use the less than node. And now we can find the value that will fit. Ok, so something around even minus 0 0.01 is ok. If you want to adjust and add more subdivisions, this value also work. But remember that you can always change it later. Ok, let's frame it by pressing Ctrl J and rename it by pressing F2 and call it maybe base geometry. Ok, let's make a little space over here and let's analyze together how this uh, structure actually look like. So we have the top structure which is made of triangles and the bottom structure which is made of hexagon and pentagons. Uh, oh, we have one over here. So we need to create the two layers of our dome, the top one and the bottom, and then we will need to connect it like this. Ok, so here is our hexagon, and as you can see, it is connected to a single point of a triangle in their upper structure. Ok, so now we know how the structure really works. It is made of the bottom layer of hexagon and pentagon, and then we have a connection to our triangle structure. Ok, so let's back to our dome and let's create the bottom structure which is made of hexagons and pentagons. And we can do this extremely easily in Blender by using single node that is called Mesh Operations Dual Mesh. Let's plug it in. And as you can see it converts uh, our triangle structure to hexagon and pentagons, and how it works. If I mute this node by pressing M key, we have uh, again our uh, triangle structure, and what dual mesh node is doing is on end every single vertex, it creates a face. As you can see we have three faces where we before have three vertices. And it uh, do exactly the same things to faces. So we have face here, 
here and here. And now we have a points here. So this is basically what the dual mesh uh, node is doing. It's very useful to create uh, such structures. Okay, now we need to create the connection between the bottom layer to the top layer of our dome. So let's extrude it by using extrude mesh node. We can drag it and search for it. And as you can see, we have our extrusion. And with this slider, we will control the distance between uh, each dome. I will set this for now maybe for 0.15. And what we need to do now is to merge this uh, outside structure to a single mesh. So to do this, we need to scale each hexagon and pentagon individually. So let's separate it by using separate geometry node. We can find it under geometry operations separate geometry. And now we need to create our selection. And for that, we will use the top output for our extrude mesh. And now we have only our top outer layer. Okay, so to merge it, we need to now scale it individually. So let's use a node called scale element. As you can see, it is do what we want, but we need to know what number to put here. And as you can see, it's really close to our offset scale, but with uh, plus one. So let's create a value node. Let's put it here, our offset scale, and let's plug the value to offset scale. And here we need a value of one more. So let's drag it and search for add one. And now we have almost perfect outcome, but to fix it, we can use the merge by distance node. You can find it under geometry, operations, merge by distance. And as you can see, we can increase this value and it will work. But as soon as we change the size of our structure, it's no longer working. Okay, so how we will fix it? Basically, we want to merge these vertices. You can see that the length of each edge is always much uh, bigger than the distance between these points. So when we find the length of the smaller edge and subtract from it a really small number, we have our distance. Okay, so let's do this. To find the length of the smaller edge, we can use the edge vertices node. Let's search for it. And this node will give us the position of a uh, first point and the second point of every edge of our geometry. So we want the distance between them. So we can drag it and search for distance. And now we have distances between every single edge in our geometry. So we need to find the smaller one. And to do this, we can use the node that's called attribute, attribute statistic. If you plug the value to attribute, as you can see, we have a lot of output, but the one that we are interested in is the minimum value. So let's use the minimum value and subtract from it a really small number, for example, like 0.001. And let's plug in into distance. As you can see, it doesn't change anything. And it's because the attribute statistic node needs the input geometry. So let's use our scale element geometry. And as you can see, it works correctly. Okay, well now I scale the icosphere. As you can see, it works for some point. But when you have a bigger radius, it stop working. And this actually, it doesn't have to do anything with our match by distance, but with a scale element. If I preview it here, as you can see, the scale is too big. It exceeds the maximum expected value. And we actually doesn't need to fix it because 
when I back to our matrix by distance and preview it, if we mute this node by pressing M key, it all start working perfectly. When I scale it even bigger and smaller, it just works. And this is because the distance between these vertices is still much smaller than the left of the edge. If we decide to extrude it much higher, then this distance can be can get bigger. And this is the situation when we actually need our scale. So in the most uh, situations you don't need the scale element, so we can left it muted. But in some situation when you have extreme distance between top and outer layer, it may be useful. But we don't know want this extreme distance, so let's back for our previous value and go our, to our merge by distance. Okay, so the last step to create our outer layer is to convert it back to triangles. And we can do this by using again the dual mesh node. And as you can see, you, we have our triangles back. Okay, let's frame it and rename it to outer dome. Now we have our inside dome and outer dome. And what we need to do is to create the connection between them. And actually, we almost have it here. Because this is our inner dome. And here we have our outer dome. And what we actually need to do is to just scale the faces. So to do this, we can drag it and search for scale elements. And as selection, use the top output and set scale to zero. Okay, let's join everything together now by using simple join node. Okay, and now as you can see we have a problem here because this should be a single point and to fix it we can actually use this five nodes like before. Let's get out from the frame and plug it here. And we also need our geometry input. And as you can see, now we have a single point. As you can see, the outer dome is uh, ending a little bit sooner than the bottom. And this is because in our dual geometry, we have unchecked key boundaries. Okay, so we can now frame it and rename to connect domes. And let's now create the geometry for dome structure by converting into curve. Let's search for mesh to curve. And now we can use curve to mesh. And what we want to do is to add a profile to this curve. So let's search for circle, curve circle, plug it in and add a much smaller radius maybe too small. Okay. And as you can see we have our dome, but the distance between outer and inner layer is much too small. So we can increase it here. And actually I don't like the keep boundary option. So we can turn it off. And as you can see, this is our double layered structure. We have our hexagons and pentagons connect to a single point of a triangle outer layer. So we can name it convert mesh to 
pipes And the last thing we can do is to add some basic joints geometry so we can use this geometry and scatter instances on points so let's use the instance on points and as instance I would use the simple icosphere let's preview it and change the scale to something much smaller and let's join it maybe a little bit smaller okay so this is basically is our dom as i say before if we have extreme distance between outer and inner layer it stop working then we just need to unmute our scale elements and play with this value a little bit but in the most size you don't want this massive distance between the layers so we can mostly mute it and put it some reasonable value here You can uh, set different materials to joints and pipes. And this is basically our dome. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned something new and see you again soon. Bye.